wait that far. Call me Maybe. I was having oh, the same okay. thought, but... Yeah, that's it. Maybe eventually. Pernishka realizes he's just a few stats and a bit of paper and goes insane. That's what uh, <laughs> happens when you get six Twisted Awakenings, more or less. Mm, yeah, too much <laughs> mind fuckery. Yep, yep. <laughs> It's that old thing. I'm just like, yeah, what if my character dropped into the real world? And it turns out they go fucking insane. <laughs> I know it's my goal and the queen's goal to get you guys into a similar state as me. Mentally. That is it. One of acceptance. They get off pudding. I suppose it is, but you had to learn to accept the truth for what it is. You'll see. But hey, maybe I'm just a fool. I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> Then we're all fools in a way. All lost. Which is a jar waiting for him to say something about being brilliant. <laughs> Shit. Ah. What happens when you lose a dreamer? There's only one thing that happens when you lose a dreamer. He points out the gateway way over there because right. he's been walking for a bit. They join the nightmare part. They join that dark mass ever intruding on this glorious city. How do you can they come oh, back? A dreamer. There's a lot of different answers to that, Oriana. There's a lot. Can they come back? He walks over to you, Redane. If someone's willing to go reason with him, like maybe, sure. They're not usually that negotiable, though. But hey, never say never. Problem is, uh, good luck uh, reaching them in this way. He gestures at you guys. Nightmares are pretty... Uh, how to say... Anthetical to you guys. They'll be drawn to your presence in some way, shape, or form, and I don't mean in, like, a puppy dog way. It's a hell of a slaughter to make it all the way out to where the nightmare dreamers are. If you're ready for that, that is. It's not like describing viruses and antibodies. Mm. To a degree. And like viruses and antibodies, uh, you won't ever be able to turn them on each other. It's not like the void or something. They're all of one side. Nightmares don't attack nightmares. So. Here we are. He gestures at another large gate. This one is not obstructed or overgrown by black vine and tendril like the other gate you guys have seen previously. This one is pristine. You guys can hear the singing, the humming from behind the door deeper in. That's a question. Where was what? that gate at? Yeah, the other gate? Hey. Outside. I see outside. Okay. Once you guys are ready to head through there, I'll be happy to ferry you across. Whenever you're ready, that is. Or maybe you won't. 
Maybe you won't. Not many people get past here. Well, all journeys are taken one step at a time, right? So what's our next step? As I told you, you guys just have to learn. Be ready for what's on the other side of the door. More importantly, what it entails. I'm not saying there's a big monster on the other side or anything. This place is absolutely peaceful. Tranquil. But just be ready. Redain just looks over to Sajar. You need to go forward. That's the purpose. Is it? Sajar just points in a direction forward, like... That way? Hmm? Huh. That's a nice thing to take from that. Rodan, have you already gone through this? Because you seem far more familiar than the last time we talked. Hmm. Confident about what happened. Not confident. No, Doesn't matter. Little... You have to go forward. So Just... Jarvis shrugs and starts walking. <laughs> right, well, I guess we're following him then. You walk so toward the... The... <laughs> the gate. Well, wherever Redane pointed, that's where he's going. <laughs> where, he, where he was where where he so would Jar been pointed facing. that Redane, I guess, said sure. Yeah. Enjoy the place. Have fun. Might stumble into uh, uh, how to describe it, a little pocket. A pocket? You'll see. Keep going. All right. You guys if keep Amber's, walking. Yeah, if Amber goes through, like, can just go grab her hand or something and just kind of follow her in. Well, if you guys are going through, the, you guys yeah. want, where are you guys going? Because it's definitely not through the gateway. You guys are not ready for that. Oh, okay, Phil. I'm just following everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> you guys are not ready. You you said he was going to ferry them across. When you guys are ready, yes. You're uh, not ready. Totally misunderstood what you were saying. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Let me put it to you like this. When you're ready, I won't be giving you twisted awakenings when you're getting new information. I mean, congratulations, you guys have now caught up immensely fast at the cost of two Twisted Awakenings. It's when you're ready to learn more. And not ready as in, I'm ready to learn, read that book. It's more of a, my mind can handle Eldritch <laughs> <laughs> battery. Okay. Mental fortitude ready, not not willingness to learn ready. So it's like, kind of need to, like, I don't know, develop her brains or something first kind of kind of deal. There's one topic in specific. The more you learn more about it, the more ready you'll be for more information. Yeah, I think it's kind of like an out-of-game thing of, like, we have to kind of figure out the story. Yeah, okay. So you guys walk around the Dreaming City, stumbling into what looked to have been a uh, market fair? No, it sounds like a book fair, but for a whole market. Fuck it, we'll call it a market fair. It's a fair that takes place in a market. There you go. Or at least the decorations and uh, uh, happenings of such. The place is still silent as the grave, aside from the humming and the sounds of your steps walking around. You guys just sort of look around, I'm looking at all the there. empty stalls, oh, non wares. A thought Man. suddenly occurs to Sajar. He looks panicked. He takes out the compass and stares at it. <laughs> mm. it just That's explains. crazy. You alright, Sajar? It points outside the city. Uh, no. <laughs> That's, <laughs> what's the matter? That's a very straightforward answer. Yep, yep. Points now moving to the center of the city. 
What? How the... You got it? Can, can you explain? I'm here to know. I'm going this way. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're coming yeah. with you. Hold up. I think nope. we should stay together and not wander off. Well, it's Sounds the first prediction we've got. I mean, he also made it sound like so he keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah, he seems like it, he's it's just pointing, it's pointing back out to the city again. <laughs> he's just yeah. walking back and forth. <laughs> Essentially, yes. Yeah. So it's going to oh keep God. oscillating back and forth between those two directions. Okay. 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 That's so I'll put a hand on Sushar's no. shoulder and be like, "You need to explain what's going on. We can't help if you just literally explain anything." <laughs> I hold out the compass like the answer is obvious. Like, <laughs> can, can I try to take the compass from him? No. <laughs> no this is important to you. We don't understand why it's important to you. Explain to us like we are children. You were there when I got it. Oh, fuck. The Legos. I, I was about to ask as Nina. We were there, right? Like, we do know what it does. Okay, we as players were there. Did No, Lego kind of explained what it is. He literally said it points to your heart's desire. Okay. I mean, if you can't oh, that that characters then. Know, know what it does, yes. Except Alessander, I guess. <laughs> Alessander gets free fast. <laughs> so I'll we'll look at the compass and say maybe it. <sighs> Ooh. Do you want to know more about where Ooh. we are? Oh no. This. Okay. I. I, I think. I don't want to understand this. Hold on. He uh, closes his right. eyes while, while I'm typing something to crash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> very good. Yes, very good. Understood. As you guys are sort of all hunched around to Jar concerned, they're like, hey, what the fuck is happening? Um, let's see. Who, who to do this to? Let's say, let's say stylist. <laughs> you, see, you, feel, you feel a tug at your pant leg. It's gonna be a tiny child. So I also look down at it confused. It is a tiny child. Oh. They are semi incorporeal, which is how you can see through them. Their eyes glow immensely bright to the point where it hurts to look at for too long, like almost like look at the sun. But it doesn't give off an equivocal amount of light. It just is that bright. Don't question it. Or do. Please do. <laughs> um, hello? Who are you? Um, better question is, who are you? Ask first. You know what? You did. <laughs> I guess I'll just say I'm, I'm Silas. Now, who are you? Sorry, what was that? I didn't catch it. Eddie. Uh. Eddie. Oh, well, Thought of a Y, Eddie. not an IE. That'd be known. Oh, shit, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> That's good to know. Can I help you? Do I buy an apple? Do I want to buy an. How much? A nickel. <gasps> Crash, I open my eyes and look at it real quick. Is she overpaying? <laughs> um, you know the amount of money as it's presented. You don't know market forces and the invisible hand of the economy. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Maybe like a regional effect, like a dragon can determine that. Maybe like, hey, listen, wood's about to be more expensive this coming season, so the value of the wood is going to increase for my hoard. Like maybe that, but no, no, you don't know the. <laughs> An apple be worth a nickel is is worth more or less. Um, I catch myself and before I open my mouth to speak. I right, wait, that's no, that's unreasonable. I close my eyes and go back to thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, <laughs> it was Redain that had the nickel, right? Yes. So I also looked Redain if he came with us, did he? Because well, we had moved away from where we were before. Is he with us still? Uh, I thought them. Oh, yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, you uh, see, Redain is taught in mid conversation with Marshall Neal. I see. Yeah, you would just see him say, 
Why can you not? Ooh. Uh, Redain. He gestures at Silas or he responds back. Um, <clears throat> can I have a nickel? You just see him look at you and his eyes go downcast. Of course. Knee right. over your direction. I didn't hear what you said. You cut out. What about my direction? <laughs> he just flicks it over in your direction. Oh, says, so we'll catch it. You catch it. Sure. Here. And set, you, set go set back, it. you go back to Eddie, you give him a yeah. nickel, he gives you an, an apple. It is a Granny normal Smith. apple. It is a Granny Smith. Nice. Best apple. So why are you selling apples, Eddie? I need a nickel. What for? He looks at like another corner of the fairground, the festival market area. I'll show you. And he jogs off, becoming uh. Sort of a bit more translucent as he gets further further away, but he's still always visible. As That's he begins like running away, more people and spaces and wares are being illuminated as he runs by them. Sass will follow. He goes over to this older man looking individual who has this uh, series of molds and like some sort of like weird device. Like he puts like a pan on it and then stuff in the pan starts cooking it's really weird <laughs> I know this is. <laughs> it's an induction theater um and he gives it the nickel over to the guy like saying something before you get there and the guy goes over to one of the molds cracks it open and then gives him something like a little ball and Cecil Stand beside Eddie and, and watch. Eddie pops into the mouth. You know what these are as a heartland, of course, it's a jawbreaker. I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Silas, Silas. Silas, yeah, nod. I can get, get fucking set up. <laughs> well, all right. Says we'll look around though. Does that? I guess does that guy who handed in the jawbreaker uh, seem to see Silas? Like, does he glance over at all? Just like a another person showed up assistance. or anything? Yeah. A bunch of people showed up as Eddie was running down the way. Yeah. So yeah, but, uh, and you all see this. Right? But does what I was asking is is does the the guy see me like Silas? Oh, okay. You guys are as time goes on, the place becomes increasingly populated by spectral people. People of different builds, makes, and races. But they all share that same semi-corporeal visage and immensely bright eyes. So do you think they're popping out of existence more because we're here, or that we're just going to come here anyways? I think these are the people Neil was talking about that we couldn't see, but we can see them now. Perhaps because we understand the place a bit better? Sorry, what did you say? Perhaps because we understand the place a bit better? For? Maybe I don't know. I feel as if we understood it more. Well, a child showed up and explained some of it to Silas. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, can Oriana like put on her mask and just see if anything visibly changes to her seeing through that? You put on the mask? It's probably a bad idea, but yeah. What have I been a smart man? This. <laughs> Immediately curses herself. I mean, that wouldn't be the the first time you guys put on a mask and curse yourselves. Mm. Remember the previous times? Just like yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. <laughs> you put on your mask. As you put it on, to the rest of you, Oriana disappears. But oh, here, here's a follow-up question. Does, does Blair like just not holding anybody's hand anymore? Yeah, that's fun. You know what else is fun? Hmm. Hmm. Ah! This think? is also fun. <laughs> Hold on.